Anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a pipe bomb. too much bombs. to be done on this mic that I ain't doing good. Pipe bombs. Pipe bombs. Pipe bombs. Anybody else's hands, this is a microphone. In my hands, it's a Okay, um, I don't mulligan. I don't even know if I looked before it, but I have two creatures and a brimstone, so I should be pretty good. Okay, he's playing white. Uh, I don't know the second color. It's either green or uh, blue, or green and blue, or white is just his splash color, and he's playing a red-green deck. Could be anything. Okay, so he's going... Okay, that's that's not good against me, to be honest. Got my crazed neonate. It's crazed. Wow. San Francisco. Are you joking, man? The Bills cannot legitimately be a good They're winning twenty and nothing, the Bills. Oh, it's football Sunday, by the way. So if you have a problem with me watching football while I'm doing this Go fuck yourself. Because Tom Brady and Roethlisberger are playing. Now, he's playing white green, and he's going the evasive creature uh, idea. This is a 4-3-2-2, by the way. Should have mentioned that. Um, this looks exactly like Marshall from Limited Resources uh, kind of deck. Uh, the deck that didn't make it out of the second round. No offense, Marshall. Um, so I drew a really good creature in Ashmouth Hound because that pretty much takes out anything with three toughness or lower, and it negates first strike. He refuses to block my neonate, which is now what a four three, and I put out the big creature. Hopefully, so he can leave something back to block. So I want to get his creatures off the board. Okay. Now, normally, unless someone has a combo trick, they attack first. But let's see. Oh, goody. Double Caravan Vigil. So now he's got two four fours that can evade attack. And that sucks balls. Giant ball sucking. So, two four fours that I cannot block. And now my Brimstone cannot kill them. So he now has the choice if he can go the Bash route and hope that he can play creatures to stop mine. Or he can attack with one, keep one back. Although that would end up hurting him, but he doesn't know that. Although he could think I have a Geist Flame or something. Um... Damn, Cam Newton is good. Oh, drew my manor gargoyle. That is, that's the best news of the day. I mean, manor gargoyle kills, it blocks his 4-4 intimidate, and I can make it a flyer and block his tree. But here I'm going to play two creatures and really put the pressure on him. He can't kill me this turn unless he has another... A uh, way to pump up his creatures could be anything from a. I, I still can't block him, so it could be anything from a reach thingy, spidery grasp, to uh, anything else. I he's doing the math right now. It's uh, what four, seven, eight, nine, ten. I could do eleven points of damage to him. So in theory, he can attack twice and win. And I really can't do much anything to stop his two creatures. So, okay, he's attacking. He's thinking. He's thinking if he should stay back and block. Any day now. You don't have to do that much thinking. It ain't that difficult. You have more life than me, and you'll have me down the two by next turn. Granted, you don't know that I have a brimstone or a manor gargoyle in my hand. Which, by the way, if you can get a manor gargoyle, 
in limited. Damn, that thing does work. Um, okay, so he does the bash route and plays a spider, which he could not get the morbid on. It really doesn't mean anything morbid in this because my creatures. Okay, so now I've won the game. Actually, no. Yeah, I've won the game, no matter what he does. Attack with all four. He blocks the one that does the most damage. That's the obvious thing to do. Here's the thing. If you're in a position like this, you know for a fact that you've lost the game. Because otherwise I would have conceded. I mean, he's tapped out. There's no way I would see anything he has. Okay, my Neonate is now insanely large. And now Brimstone with Morbid. Because he killed my creature. And that's game. Pretty easy game. Nothing too crazy. Um, drew a Forbidden Alchemy, I would have never gotten these. Okay, so can I do anything to this deck to change it? Um, I really didn't see that he had much of anything other than Caravan, Vigil, and three creatures. So, if you want to clue me in on how I could figure out how to do something, feel free. I'm just looking through my sideboard trying to see if there's anything. I do know that he has the spider, so... I don't have to really... That kind of negates a lot of my creatures. So that's not exactly the best thing in the world. But... I don't know, maybe the ghoul caller's bell might have helped out. This is a miserable opening hand, by the way. Uh, but I think knowing the way I play, I just don't mulligan. I figure, if you, the more mana you have in your hand the less chance you have a draw on mana, and when you're playing like I am, which is, like, super aggressive, then you should, you know, try and maintain that super aggressiveness. Okay, so... I'm gonna play that. Get out my Traveler's Amulet. <sighs> Wish I had a, uh, Forbidden Alchemy in my hand. That would make this a lot better play. Okay, that's a little annoying, but it's negated by my Ashmouth Hound. Because, barring him playing a Midnight Madness or whatever it's called, um, he can't attack or block with it. Ooh, Blood Craze Neonate. Sexy. So, attack, you won't block, that's good, that's a good thing. Play the Neonate to put some more pressure on him, and let's deal 3 damage to him just to uh, put, add a little extra pressure. You know, the way I'm, I'm really playing this is that I'm hoping that I can get out more creatures than he can, and then just attack. <laughs> Which isn't exactly the greatest plan in the world, but hey, whatever works, works. Um, interesting, he attacked. I should have blocked there. Blocking, I think, would have made sense, because he wouldn't have attacked unless he had a creature to bring out that could block. And it's a biggie. Oh, it's bad. It's really bad, actually. Yeah, un unattack with that. Just let him eat the neonate. Really makes me wish I put that ancient grudge in the deck. All he gets to untap is untapped creature. 
And now I'm going to play my 3-2 for striker. Which is always nice. So I get to gain life when he attacks. Unless he takes out my hound. Either way, I'm he attacks here without a caravan vigil. I get to gain 5 life and he gets to uh, get a 2-2 creature. So, I kind of like that plan. And I don't go through with it. Wow. I really should rethink that strategy. Oh, goody. Really should have rethought that strategy. Oh, goody. I really should have rethought that strategy. And I'm drawing lands. Let's put the trepanation blade on something. So now he's just going to be able to chump block this dude with his 1 1s and constantly untap his galvanic juggernauts, which are always fun. And now I attack. Let's see if I get. I need at least. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of stuff that could have hurt me, too. Except that Caravan Vigil is now in his graveyard, which means he'll play it next turn. Oh, God, I just lost this game. I mean, I took out things that could help him, but at the same time, he's just going to block here. And the little bits of life that I'm going to gain are not going to make up for the fact that I don't know why he bought... Oh, I guess he needs the two white mana. So I'll gain a life. He gets to untap his Juggernauts. Yay, a life. That sounded wrong. I really have no outs here. Really no shot of winning, barring a uh, Black Sun Zenith, which would be really nice. If I could top tick a black uh, black sun zenith, I can use my travel amulet to get the two swamps, but it doesn't seem to be happening right now. So he's gonna attack again for ten, and I gotta just take it. Yeah, I just gotta take it. That sucks. And he's thinking that he has the... Oh, goody. And now they untap. That's game. I think I should just concede here. Um, nope, just sitting around. I guess I'm going to... Oh, goody, now it has Morbid. Oh, this is fun. Oh, great. Typhoid Rats. You know, I, there's a few other cards I, I needed a little more than Typhoid Rats. But do you know what? Let me, let me let them play out another... Let me let them play out another uh, minute. What makes Galvanic Juggernaut so insane is that... You can, in theory, you know, I mean, if it was just whenever one of your creatures dies, untap it, but it just goes in there and bashes people. And don't worry about the, if it's automatically attacking and then you click on it and non-attack, everyone does it. It happens to everybody. So, now I can see it. I want to see maybe if he'd play something, but now I know what he has at least. Uh, I wasn't really drawing anything that would help. I was two, three turns away from really doing any damage. Okay, so Ancient Grudge, you're up. Take out the Ghoul Razor. Add in the Typhoid Rats. Because that'll hopefully do double the work, take out the that thingy, because it's 
it's not going to help me much when he has two galvanic juggernauts and a four six, uh, you know, four six spider. By the way, I fucking hate spiders, man. They scare the shit out of me. This is not a bad hand. It looks terrible, but it's really not a bad hand. Luckily, I'm playing first, so first turn I could do three damage. Second turn I could have out a two one that kills all his one ones. Third turn I can get rid of pretty much anything in his hand that could hurt me. So I'm actually pretty excited about this. My semi black lightning bolt. Okay, he plays nothing first turn. Once again, I guess he got no Doom Travelers. Okay, now I get my Ashmouth Hound out. It's fantastic. Also, what's good about the uh, discard card is that it gets rid of... It, it exiles it, so you can't just bring it back. So let's see what you got. What you got going on, buddy? Ooh. Actually, that's not too bad. If I get rid of the Bonds of Faith, it's going to take him a while to get out that Essence of the Wild. But now I know what the Mythic was in his pack. Probably his first overall pick. Um, and the Caravan Vigil really does absolutely nothing for him unless he starts drawing creatures and lands. So I'm on essentially a three turn clock, no wait, a four turn clock to get, to get my, uh, you know, to kill him and not have to deal with Essence of the Wild and some potential nasty, nasty creatures. Ooh, that's nice. It's a good top deck right there. And he's on a... Oh, wait, he's doing something? That's never good. Three mana? Three white? Okay, Unruly Mob is useless here. Unless he wants to use the Caravan Vigil on it. Hmm, that's odd, because he could have taken out my Ashmouth Hound and at least slowed down his clock a little bit, since he needs three green mana. So, let me just attack him. Fall out. Hope he blocks. Nope. Okay, so... Got him down to a nice, even number. And I get out of Typhoid Rats, which kills his Essence of the Wild and uh, Galvanic Juggernauts and... Uh, Personally, I, I wouldn't want my Galvanic Juggernaut to turn into a 6-6, but hey, who knows. I wonder if you could build an Essence of the Wild deck. Like, green-white, Essence of the Wild, Garrick, and then use creatures that have flash. That'd be pretty cool. You can get out as many Essence of the Wild, and then tokens, like Midnight Haunting. That would... I'm gonna... No one take that idea. I came up with it first. Okay, so... Uh, he's down to a good number. Caravan Vigil. Okay. He might use it again. Although it's pointless to really use it again since anything he blocks does. And I have a very, very valuable... Two mana in my hand. Just go all in. Whatever he bought. Well, I'll keep the Typhoid Rats just in case he top decks a uh, forest right here. He'll block the Ashmouth Hound. They'll die. They both die. And he is now down to a small number. Hoping that he thinks I have, oh, Selfless Cathar. 
you know, people don't think about selfless cathar much, but it's a fantastic way to get out uh, morbid creatures. Six mana, you could have, a, or use an elf and sack it and get stuff and attack. Now he's going to block and sack so that way I don't gain any life. Yeah? I guess Japanese. Okay, so he does that. And he needs to top deck a forest. Which he lovingly does. Fantastic. Nothing more fun than a top deck forest. Cause there ain't no wow, it's it's foiled, shiny. I would have taken that, because it's shiny. Okay, now what do I do here? Okay, get out another creature, and hope he doesn't have another creature in hand. Attack with the Typhoid Rats. Oh, I should have attacked with the Typhoid Rats. Don't play a creature. Don't play a creature. Don't play a creature. Don't play Gnaw to the Bone and don't play a creature. Ah, he didn't top deck a creature. So really in the end that discard spell really won the game for me. Because I have the ability to deal 3 damage whenever I feel like. So I'm just going to all out attack. He's going to take a minimum of 4. Oh, I didn't all out attack. Okay. Either way, he's taking three. It's fine. Sorry about that. And, uh... Now I play this, and I win the game thanks to Bump in the Night, and he gets very angry and probably is screaming expletives as we speak. Boom. Goes the dynamite. Ooh, Manor Gargoyle.